Hello, and welcome to a new episode of 7 Facts. Join me in the next couple of minutes as we discover 7 facts you never knew about yet another one of Switzerland's states. Niedwalden is a canton of Switzerland, that is, a federal state of the country. It only covers 276 square kilometers, but even less than that is inhabited or used for farming. Only about 40% of the land houses the canton's population of 43,000 people. The rest is made of mountains, forests and glaciers. It's located right in the middle of Switzerland, so it's a shame that very few people know anything about Nidwalden. So let's see what we can discover in the next few minutes about this hidden gem of Switzerland. Early humans settled this area about 6000 years ago during the Neolithic. It was only after the Roman Empire conquered Nidwalden that the history of the modern-day Canton began. Celts and Gallo-Romans used to inhabit it until the empire collapsed and the Alemanni Germans started to settle here around the 8th century AD. Slowly but surely, noble families and abbeys became the sole landowners and three major powers emerged – Murbach Abbey, Engelberg Abbey and the powerful Habsburg family. In response to the Habsburgs' growing power, Nidwalden and Obwalden joined, forming the canton of Unterwalden. Unterwalden consolidated its position against the Habsburgs by allying itself to Uhi and Schwitz. This move constitutes the foundation of the old Swiss Confederacy, of which the people of Nidwalden were an essential part. Before we get to the next fact, I'd like to ask you one thing. This video isn't sponsored. None of them are so far, so perhaps you'd consider supporting this channel by becoming a patron. If you still enjoy my content, go visit my Patreon page and help this channel out. And with that said, let's go to fact number 3. Stanz is the capital city of Nidwalden. Stanz is one of the oldest settlements in the entire Nidwalden Valley. The first traces of human settlement date to the 2nd century BC. It was the newly Christianized Alemanni Germans who built the first church here, around 750 AD, thus marking the beginning of Stanz. Although it's a small city, it's staggeringly beautiful. Tall mountains surround the area, while the city itself is filled to the brim with gorgeous and centuries-old buildings. In short, it's a must-see for every visitor. Although it's a small canton, Nidwalden lives on high grounds. Mountain peaks range from an altitude of 1100 meters all the way up to 2901 meters. As you can imagine, tourism is a major source of revenue here. Besides the mountains, there are lakes, glaciers and forests and some of Switzerland's most famous resorts, like Clevenalp or Stanzenhorn. Most likely, if you ever find yourself in Nidwalden, you'll get to enjoy a jaw-dropping scenery, no matter which way you look. Nidwalden is the land of a dragon slayer. According to legend, around the year 1250, Strut von Finkelried was a giant knight who managed to kill a dragon. The dragon lived in a cave near Stanz, destroying cattle and causing much damage to the people, to the point where villages had to be abandoned. The people of Unterwalden made several expeditions trying to kill the dragon with crossbows, but each time the dragon saw he was at a disadvantage, he quickly retired into his cave or ran up a steep slope like a lizard, where he was unreachable. At this point, Winkelried, who had been banished from Unterwalden for manslaughter, asked whether he would be allowed back into the land if he would kill the dragon. This was accepted and Strut attacked the dragon single-handedly, armed with a spear. The dragon, seeing that the attacker was alone, came from his hiding place and attacked with open jaws, and Winkelried was able to stab the monster with his spear, hacking at it with his sword until he died. Glad for his victory, Winkelried lifted his sword over his head, thanking God, but the dragon's blood dripped from his sword blade on his body, poisoning him so that he died a few days later. Beckenried a town of 3600 people, located on the shore of Lake Lucerne. It's a charming little place where life is quaint and the landscape is heavenly. It's also the starting point of the longest cable car in central Switzerland, that brings tourists up to Clevenalp Resort from 435 meters altitude all the way up to 1600 meters. This is a major skiing resort of Switzerland. 
Actually, the entire region is a major adventure spot for tourists. Skiing, hiking, canoeing, kite surfing, mountain biking, paragliding, helicopter rides, and even treasure hunts, these all await every adventure loving tourist of the world. Another sight to behold in Nidwalden is the Schnitzturm. This is a stone tower in the city of Stanstad, part of the Palisaden medieval fortifications. Exactly when the tower was built is unknown, but it's already mentioned in documents dating from 1315. Its role as a defensive tower was no longer relevant after the old Swiss Confederacy was established, and yet it survived the eons since. The last military use of the tower was during the 1798 French invasion. The palisade was hastily replaced with floating fir tree trunks and the Schnitzturm was manned. They incredibly held off the French fleet for several days, but on April 9, 1798, French troops broke through on the land side and captured the town. If you wish to stand on a truly medieval relic, you're gonna wanna visit Schnitzturm. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy this content. Leave your comments downstairs and don't forget there's a Patreon page where you can support this channel. I hope to see you next time. Bye.